Hey homies, what's good? It's Chris and welcome back to the channel. It is fall and what better way to settle into the season than with cozy meals. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. I will be dropping a fall favorite. Well, for me, a fall favorite. Let's cook. Alright guys, so the recipe I actually did find on Pinterest, but it did call for a Instant Pot. We're not doing that. I'm going to go ahead and do that in my Dutch oven. And yes, it's a blend of like that Zupa Toscana from Olive Garden and I made a Tuscan chicken a couple of years ago here. I'll link the, the video for you down below, but look at all those flavors, the kale, the sun-dried tomatoes, the heavy whipping cream. My Y'all know my mouth is watering. Okay, so we're gonna get into making this. 30 minutes, one pot. I mean, let's go, let's cook. Okay, so the recipe, the recipe called for a yellow onion. I am substituting and putting a red onion in there. You can add a yellow onion or you can use red onion. If you don't like onions, omit the onions. Again, as I say always, this is your kitchen. Do as you feel. Let's chop this. I forgot how much I love the knife of this size for chopping up my veggies. And it's very apparent that I forgot it because it is extremely sharp. So let's do a rough chop. I'm gonna add in the sausage and season as I go. Alright, I'm gonna go in with some fresh cracked pepper. So with salt and pepper, you're gonna do that to taste. I'm gonna add in some sea salt. Salt. Okay, so this is where you would go ahead and add in already. So I just want to make sure that I'm breaking up the sausage. Let us get cooked. Now we are going to be making a soup, so it will cook all the way out. Again, I use the red onion. You can use a yellow onion, white onion. You just need a large onion. Six cups of chicken broth. It asks for reduced sodium. Don't be like me. Be better than me. I have chicken broth. Six cups. So that means I just need to adjust the amount of salt that I add into my pot. So with the heavy whipping cream, you're gonna need three-fourths cup. So that's right below a cup. So I was just waiting for my broth to come back up to temperature. So 
So I like the way that the sausage is broken up. Very Zupa Tuscanish. I love the purple popping through with the onions. And that broth is just gonna continue to cook the sausage out. Again, you can omit sausage. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken. Um, you can do a meat substitute if that's what you want. Y'all, my mouth is warm. <laughs> it smells so good. All those Italian flavors. I smell each and every one of them. The basil, the garlic, the oregano. Yes, God. So I'm bringing this back up to a boil. I would say maybe about, mm, that was about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. You wanna bring your pot back up to a boil. We are now going to add in our sun-dried tomatoes. Introducing them back to this boiling pot is just going to soften them back up, plumping them up and give this pot a delicious flavor if you have not tried sun-dried tomatoes. What are you waiting on? At this point, you wanna taste it. I just did busting. This is a simple, you don't wanna put nothing else other than what the recipe calls for because it is busting. You taste the oregano. My mouth is watering. I added some Irish butter to it as well as olive oil to coat my pan before I added in my onions and garlic. Gave that a saute, then added in my sausage, seasoned that well with just the oregano, but um, the oregano, um, salt and pepper to taste. That's it. Don't add all that other stuff. T today is not the day that we're going to do that. We're going to allow these flavors to really peek through. The sun-dried tomatoes, the onions, the garlic, that sausage, because it is Italian sausage, it's seasoned already, so you don't want to do too much to that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our kale, our washed kale, to our soup. I'm going to turn the stove down to like a medium heat, and we're going to add this in here, and we don't want it soggy. We still want it to have a bit of a bite, so you're going to gauge that. I would say probably another 10 minutes or so. Five minutes before, we'll add in the heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add a bit more kale because I don't think I measured it out according to what I This smells so delicious. This smells so delicious. Oh my gosh, this smells good. one pot my dishes are already washed I'm gonna put the lid on this but this smells delicious when you serve it you are gonna go ahead and use fresh chopped parsley and fresh grated parmesan but this was easy 30 minutes one pot kitchen is clean and I'm satisfied because it smells absolutely delicious.
This smells delicious and it tastes so good. And you saw how quick I made that. If you like your kale cooked a little bit more, by all means do that. Cook it to your tenderness. But remember, as you keep reheating this, you're going to like cook the kale down a little bit more. So that's why I left it with more of a bite. But open up. Let's raise our glasses. Cheers. Here's to healthy eating that did not skimp on flavor. Looks delicious. Didn't take long at all. I hope you enjoyed my first fall recipe. Thanks for watching and as always, stay safe.